The muskies just finished spawning, so we're fishing a post-spawn area outside of some shallow weed beds. The baits that we were using are these Rapala X-Wraps. Perch seems to be the best color because that's what they're feeding on this time of year. I use a medium action seven foot rod. I like going with a lighter rod because fighting these big fish on light equipment is a real challenge and it's a lot of fun. I like a high speed reel that's really durable. I like to do like a jerk, jerk, pause, kind of a cadence like that. Sometimes you get a strike on that pause and sometimes you get a strike in the middle of a jerk. When we were trolling, we bumped it up quite a bit. We were going about three and a half to four miles an hour and we kept our baits only about 20 feet behind the boat. Sometimes the churn up of the water from the motor attracts the muskie. I make my own leaders out of 50 pound fluorocarbon with a 100 pound breaking strength barrel swivel on one end and a VMC snap on the other. Muskies are known to follow your bait. We always try to make a figure eight pattern at the boat so that if the muskie is following it, that figure eight motion will trigger a strike. When you hook a muskie, you don't wanna rush the battle. You gotta let this fish just do what he wants. Eventually he will tire out and you will get him in the boat. Most of these fish are lost right at the boat. So it's important to have a good quality net that's real big and you can extend it out there and get it before they flip off. The big net also helps. You can leave the fish in the water, in the net and take the hooks out of its mouth safely without harming the fish. Once you get the hooks out, you can pick up the fish, take a quick picture and release them back in the water. I'm Mark Graziano. Thanks for watching this week's fishingonline.com in-depth look.